Hello and welcome to Wanna Be a Chef. Today we are going to make premix of chocolate cake. So let's get started and know the ingredients for the chocolate premix. This is easier than the vanilla premix. So let's get started. And if you have not seen my previous video in which I have shown how to make vanilla premix, do refer to description box which is given uh, there. And for the chocolate premix, we need one and a half cups of all-purpose flour and maida, one cup of sugar. This is normal granulated sugar which we use for tea or coffee. Three tablespoons of cocoa powder. This has to be a good quality cocoa powder. One teaspoon of baking soda or soda by carb or edible soda which we use usually in Indian recipes. A pinch of salt. Half teaspoon of vanilla powder. And if you don't have vanilla powder, no need to worry about it. You can use vanilla essence while mixing the dry and wet ingredients as we do for any other cakes. I'm taking a mixer jar here. First we are going to make the premix. Then I'm going to show you how to make the cake out of this premix. And this is very easy and very simple. So first we are going to add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour or maida. If you don't want to use the hand blender or you don't want to mix it, or make even uh, the premix a hand bef beforehand you can still make this cake using the same uh, ingredients and the wet ingredient dry and wet ingredients combination of both and you can make the chocolate cake so we need one and a half cups of all-purpose flour one cup of sugar three tablespoons of cocoa powder one teaspoon of baking soda pinch of salt and vanilla powder and we are going to pulse this uh, for about one or two minutes until everything gets well combined our chocolate cake premix is now ready we are going to make a cake out of it adding the wet ingredients and the premix and I'm going to show you how nice moist and good the cake will be so our cake premix or chocolate cake premix is now ready to make the cake out of our chocolate premix we need three ingredients these are very simple ingredients we need one fourth cup of vegetable oil this is normal flavorless vegetable oil which we use for cooking one cup of water this is normal regular water this is white vinegar we need one teaspoon of white vinegar and and if you don't like white vinegar to be added to your cake or you don't prefer the taste of white vinegar you can omit this and you can substitute white vinegar with two teaspoons of lemon juice this will give exact result as the vinegar so let's get started and make the uh, cake i'm going to transfer our premix to a mixing bowl here as my mixer is small today i'm going to use the bowl to make the cake out of it you can use the mixer jar itself you can all you can add all these three ingredients in the mixer and you can blend it for about one minute until the wet and dry ingredients combines well and your batter is ready to get into the oven. To our dry ingredients, I'm going to add one fourth cup of oil, vegetable oil and to this I'm going to add one cup of water and one teaspoon of vinegar. Here goes my one teaspoon of vinegar and I'm using a whisk here because I don't want any lumps in my batter. So just use a whisk and combine all the dry and wet ingredients until you don't find any lumps in it and your batter is good to go or the cake batter for chocolate cake is now ready. Just mix it really well because you have already blended sugar to the powder shouldn't take longer time just mix nicely and that's it your batter is now ready to get into the oven I have greased and lined a 7 inch baking tray here we are going to just put our batter just give a nice mix to your batter and we are going to put this batter into our lined tin and we are going to bake this for 35 to 40 minutes or until a skewer comes out clean at 180 degrees celsius and I have preheated my oven at the same temperature our batter is all set to get into the oven we are going to just give it a clap to remove the egg bubbles out of it 
Our eggless chocolate cake is just out of the oven. I have inserted a skewer a couple of times. You can see that and it has come out clean. That means it has baked perfectly. We are going to let this cool down in the tin for 15-20 minutes. Then we are going to demold it and I am going to show you the texture of the cake. Our cake was cooling in the tin since 15-20 minutes. I am taking a butter knife here and we are going to rotate it across the edges as we do for any cake so that the cake loosens the edges of the tin. Tilted the tin upside down. We are going to tap a little so that the cake comes out clean. You can see it has come out clean. We are going to remove the parchment paper here. And I am going to cut the piece and show you the texture of the cake. So here is my cake and I am going to show you the inside or texture of the cake using the Primix or making a cake using Primix. I am going to zoom a little so that you can see the texture from inside. So here is the texture of the cake. You can see it is very light and moist and it is just like what we eat in the bakeries. I hope you like this video. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel for such interesting and easy recipes. You can also visit me on my Facebook page which is given in the description box. Thank you and keep watching.